If you've run through Destiny 2's New Nightfall on Hero Difficulty with a group of matchmade guardians, there's a good chance that you wanted to pull your hair out by the end of the mission. There's an even better chance that you were unable to finish. Creating a loadout that will find success in these new difficulty settings is an interesting challenge, but when you're kitted the right way, success is very satisfying. Today we're going to talk about some things you can do to prepare your guardian for the Nightfall ordeal. Let's get started. Unlike the classic Nightfall, the new playlist pits you against barrier overload and unstoppable champions when you turn the difficulty above Adept. These are standard enemies with special abilities that you can only interrupt with unique mods on your armor or weapons. These mods are required from the seasonal artifact. Because not every weapon type can be modded with artifact mods and the armor mods don't provide universal benefits to every subclass, your choices are restricted but you still have a lot of options. For weapon mods, you can equip anti-barrier rounds on auto rifles, submachine guns, and hand cannons. These mods are for taking down the barriers created by barrier champions. You can also use the exotic hand cannon Ariana's Vow. Its exotic trait gives it anti-barrier rounds. Against overload champions, you can use the overload rounds mod on auto rifles and submachine guns, and the overload arrowheads mod on bows. For dealing with unstoppable champions, there's an unstoppable hand cannon mod. When aiming down sights, after a short time, your hand cannon will be loaded with a powerful explosive projectile that staggers unshielded enemies. It's strong against unstoppable champions, but I haven't encountered one yet, so I don't know exactly what that means. I assume it's bonus damage and a stagger, but let me know in the comments if you've used it before. Armor mods that augment your abilities for dealing with champions are significantly more limited. We have the chest armor mod, Overload Grenades. For 4 energy, Void Grenades will stagger Overload Champions, allowing you and your teammates to burst them down easily. They also apply a Disruption effect, which reduces their damage output and lowers the enemy's ability regen rate. You can improve these effects with the Disruptor Spike mod for an additional 3 energy. Against Unstoppable Champions, we have the Unstoppable Melee mod. For 3 energy, Arc Melee abilities stagger unshielded enemies, and I assume will stagger unstoppable champions. Again, I haven't been able to test this yet, but let me know in the comments if you have. So, now that we know about the mods we can equip to make our lives easier, we have to make a build that will meet the challenges presented by the encounters in the Nightfall. I'll use the Warlock for the examples. During the week I'm recording this, the current Nightfall ordeal is in the Pyramidian. It has primarily mid to long range engagements, but it's possible to get in close if you kit yourself accordingly. One of the most frustrating aspects of this nightfall are the Hobgoblin Snipers, so I'm bringing the Tranquility Kinetic Sniper to counter them. The barrier champions in this nightfall are also Hobgoblins, and they're all stationed in hard to reach places, so a sniper rifle will be helpful for bursting them down as well. However, it can't deal with their barrier ability. That's where my primary weapon comes into play. My every waking moment submachine gun is equipped with anti-barrier rounds, and this will allow me to shred down the barrier champ's shield. With that, we've got a solid foundation for a build, but there are still some holes in our gameplay. I don't have any guns that deal with overload champions, and there are a lot in the Pyramidian. That's not a huge problem, because there's a good chance my teammates will, but in the interest of being flexible, I'm gonna slap on the Overload Grenade mod and use the Voidwalker's middle tree, the Attunement of Fission. Since I'm going down a jack-of-all-trades route with my loadout, I'm gonna lean into that and focus the rest of my mods and exotic around support with my class ability. Paragon mods will reduce my class ability's base cooldown, and the Stag Exotic Helmet will reduce its cooldown even farther if I'm critically wounded, which is gonna happen a lot. That last setup brought me great success during my runs, but setting yourself up to deal with every challenge that comes your way isn't the only way to play. And despite the limited selection of mods in the seasonal artifact, it's still possible to see diversity. Let's start from scratch. I still want to bring a long range weapon for dealing with hobgoblins, so I'm going to use a kinetic bow, the no turning back. The best part about that weapon type is that it can be slotted with the overload arrowheads mod. A fully drawn arrow shot on an overload champion will stagger them. I could bring the same submachine gun for dealing with barrier champions, but then my damage output would be severely lacking. So I'm going to take the Wave Splitter Exotic Trace Rifle for my energy special weapon. For my subclass, I'm going to use the Stormcaller's Middle Tree, the Attunement of Control, and my exotic armor is the Crown of Tempest. Arc Ability Kills grant a stacking buff called Conduction Tines, which grants increased ability energy regeneration rate and super energy regeneration rate. Finally, all of my armor mods are for Discipline, bringing me up to 100 and reducing my grenade cooldown to 32 seconds. 
With this setup, I'll be much better at clearing out large packs of enemies with consistent grenade generation, and my super will be available consistently as well because of the exotic trait on Crown of Tempest. The new Nightfall ordeal is a very challenging environment, even for veteran players, but if you know what you're doing, you'll at least be prepared for the enemies that come your way. As a bare minimum, if you're gonna matchmake into this playlist at the hero difficulty, bring something for dealing with barrier champs or overload champs, but prioritize overload as those enemies are significantly more difficult. If you're going in with a team, coordinate, figure out who's bringing what and create synergy. Next, meeting the recommended power level is a good idea, but even if you're at or below that, you should have the framework for a build put together. Your Guardian's power goes up significantly with mods, legendary armor, weapons, and exotics. Finisher mods can also be a huge help. But even if you're not doing something fancy, simply slotting mods for minor resist, major resist, boss resist, and an elemental resistance based on the Nightfall will make you more durable. So use good armor, slot mods in it, infuse your strongest weapons so you're not shooting wet noodles at the evil space robots. Finally, don't DPS bosses with your primary weapon and try to save your super to burn them down when possible. If I see any more guardians shooting at bosses with hand cannons, my head is going to explode. And there we go, that's going to do it for the quick overview of the Nightfall ordeal and how to set up your Guardian to deal with it. The Overload and Barrier Champions pose a significant challenge and they change the way the Nightfall plays. It's a lot of fun trying to deal with them and trying out different loadouts, min-maxing, and figuring out what the best strategy is. I've done it a couple of times with a coordinated group and I've done it a lot with random matchmade guardians and my experience has varied tremendously, but the guardians that had a build that was specifically designed for the activity did the best. So with all of that said, we're going to wrap it up here, but don't worry, there is plenty more Destiny 2 content coming in the future. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support the channel more than you already do just by watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, you can head over to patreon.com slash iblueairjgr to become a patron. As always, the name of the game is Destiny 2, the name of the channel is iblueairjgr. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.